Welcome to Billingham Stars TV, your home for highlights of the Ultimate Windows Billingham Stars. Uh, it's the second game of the weekend for your stars tonight here at the Forum. The visitors, the Solihull Barons, it's second against third. Stars looking for a reaction to last night's defeat at Solway. All the action with NIHL radio commentary with Anthony Lowe and Jonathan Langstaff. Puck lifted into neutralised, and here's Dan Palmdog now. Takes it. Sorry, it's Jack Watkins, and it's a goal! Jack Watkins knocks the puck down and fires a wrist shot right into the top corner. And the Billingham Stars take an early lead in this one. Two minutes and one second gone. And Jack Watkins fires the shot. It's probably one that Nichols is going to want back because that was a long range shot just inside the blue line. Took it. Such an excellent two way player, Cal Davies. And now here's, Ma here's Matthew Maurice. Maurice goes around. Ross Hanlon, but Hanlon gets his body in the way. Here's a chance for Otterson, brings it out in front, shoots, it's a goal. That was poor from the Stars defensively. Nicholas Otterson, the import, pots it through the legs, I believe, of Mark Watson as he came across. Just as I was about to message John to tell him it's one all, he's obviously seen the goal. It wasn't a good one from the Stars defensively. And as it is, here's Andy Finn. Plays it around the boards. Emerson can't control, but Ward does well to make sure it gets out. And now Bowman, with a bit of steam, comes in, takes the shot. Oh, it's off the post. Rebound. Oh, and it's saved there as another shot comes in and goes wide. That was weird, that. That must have came off the inside of the, the joint. Yeah, the because the way that died. came back out, it just died in the middle of the ice, didn't well, it? Unless it was the back frame, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure it never. You know, the back piping around the back Yeah, of the no, I don't that. think it was. And here's Dennis Bostrom now with a bit of speed. Dangles through on the backhand, shoots. Good save there by Nichols. Here's Elder. Excellent stick handling. He's hooked there. Surely, yet yeah, the penalty's coming. Oh, and then that's. I reckon they're both going to get them. They are. Michael Elder's going to get one for high stick. What, off the shot? He's gonna Surely get... he can't get one off the follow through off his shot. Let's see if there's blood, because if so, Michael Elder's out the game. But it's the follow through on his shot. You can't get a high stick for the follow through. I thought that was the rule. Palm York strips his man of Tom Sawyer of the puck, comes into the zone, finds Moss, takes his time, what and a what a beautiful goal that is. The water bottle's gone for a little jump. And it's 2-1 to the Stars, just 22 seconds into the 4-on-4, four four. and Josh Nichols is already looking at the bench. Yeah, you know what, he has burned himself massively, right, and rightly so. He started going towards his right. And as he started leaning and going to his right, Mossy just went glove side. Just short kept, side on him, yeah, glove yeah, side, yeah. Kept it and put it in that top shelf there. Oh, he's so a big, your, big so your shot has to be accurate. Dennis Bostrom goes around his man, drops it back out in front and then tries to get it again as it was blocked off by the defenceman. Here's Michael Elder. Sent out. Oh, it's yeah, in! Clever and Josh Nichols throws his hands in the air. Deliberate attempt to score oh, a goal. 100%. Michael Elder was on the goal line as he picked up the puck and just fired it first time towards the net trying to bank it in off the back of Josh Nichols and it's done exactly that it's 3-1 to the Stars 11.39 played he's the I believe he's the leading point scorer behind behind Otterson he's the leading British point scorer I believe and here's a chance now as in comes Bruce Bruce takes the shot and it's a goal Terry Ward not at all happy a lack of coverage from the Stars I think Tom Keeley stepped up and no one filled in for him shot from not far inside the blue line completely unobstructed you would expect a save from that one a shot comes in from Elder and that's saved and it's in behind it's a goal for the Stars Josh Nichols is having a mare I think it's fair to say the goals that he's conceded there's only probably one of them he wouldn't want back that one there a shot came you know in what? and squeezed through him Wardell actually lost that and I don't think if it wasn't for Dennis's reaction I think he might it have blew the whistle, there, but yeah. Dennis's reaction was like a sprinter out of the blocks. He was just he was off, and he noticed the puck was loose behind Nichols there after he tried to squeeze and Scott the shot squeezed through. Slater now he's hit, but still managed to come away with the puck. Comes in shot, it's right out in front, and Mark Watson's dove on the puck and covered it over with his hand, and Cal Davies just pulls it away from the goal before anyone gets a chance to touch it in and say, look, it was in. I think we're doing Mark Watson a bit of injustice there. I think that was a bigger save than we first initially thought. I think the puck was probably wide open in, in the crease with for an easy tapping. He's used yeah. that long frame of his. And Here's Bruce now, turns back. 
Bruce cut off but it comes for Yanak. Yanak with the chance brings it in front shoots save rebound save again and he's crawled on top of it Hanlon and Ross Hanlon not happy for Yanak. with Yanak there and there's an arm in the air he can't call Hanlon he really can't I think he's going to well he has to call Yanak for the slash on Watson's glove yeah Ross Hanlon's going to the box you know what I don't mind that uh, yeah I think yeah Ross Hanlon well, having a word here who's oh. answered in the middle of the bench Oh, he's having a little dance around whoever that is on the bench. But Hanlon's just said, yeah, I'll take you on. Face off, one back to the point. Shot comes in, goal. Nicholas Otterson. I tell you what, I think that clock started a bit early because there's no way that was three seconds from puck drop to puck hitting back of net. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that was about 1.3 seconds and it's a 4-3 game. I'm actually going to go, yeah, you know what, I'm not bothered about that Hanlon penalty, but you know, there's a reason why he took that penalty and the initial penalty wasn't called. Lifted forward towards Croton. Out of the zone, not quite. There's a bit of hacking and whacking there between Crow and Hanlon as Bruce comes away from his man. Sent back to the point for Yanak who shoots and scores and it's level. The Stars bench not at all happy. Timeout. Oh, is it a timeout? Rightly so, the Stars haven't started this period. Cal Davies, I think he messed himself up a little bit it's fallen for Bostrom who shoots save rebound and Bostrom he's took a shove there and Bostrom's done nothing wrong and Otterson's yeah, I think gone Otterson's straight getting the, I think Otterson's getting the penalty Otterson should if it's like for like, Na yeah, he's just said like 91 like. if it's like for like Otterson's Bostrom, going Bostrom doesn't deserve one Bostrom's got a penalty as well That's here I don't like Odell. that so so he's not allowed to go in when the netminders drop the puck. So it's then exactly the same as all the ones down the could, other end. You can now put Wardell at fault for the third goal, which was a power play goal. Exactly. Because R R Ross Hannon, all he did was pre protect Watson, who took two or three slashes. And Andy Finn will come back on the ice for this third period to get things started against Bruce Whitehouse and Slater. And the puck is won by Whitehouse. But Dennis Bostrom collects, goes to the backhand, shoots, and it's a goal! Dennis Bostrom, six seconds, the Jets came on from Bostrom. He flew down the right-hand side and on the backhand scores past a, a deeply wounded Josh Nichols who actually headbutted the ice in frustration. I don't think he was ready. No. I wasn't. And here's James Moss now. Moss, the cross ring towards Palm Bjork, out of the reach, and oh, Palm Bjork chases it huge. down. And it's a big rebound, the netminder not covering that. He That's is a having huge. a stinker. Nice that is take. a great take by Maurice. Oh, what a goal this will be. What a save, save, Mark Watson. What a save. That is a fantastic stop that will look very good on the highlights from Watson. Sent to the back post, and that's kicked towards net by Whitehouse. Attempted to be sent out in front by Bruce. Does so. It's on the line. No, it's on the line. Jack Watkins has just saved a goal there. Yeah. And he's just helped his mate walk. Well. I think it was a combination of Watkins, Watson, Watson and Moss just yeah, kept that yeah. puck out. Rightly so, the light Because the puck came on. up and went on his back leg. Yeah. And then into the, into the space where he could have quite easily kicked it in without knowing it was there. And Jack Watkins, Watkins and Moss just dragged it between just, his legs. Yeah. Just. And here's a chance. Tom Saw breaks into the zone. Saw, hack, whack, shot, save. And it's going to be a penalty. No way can Stephen Wardell see that He was at the other end of the ice. He was behind the defensive blue zone for the Solihull Barons. There's no way he can see it, but it's right. In come the Barons, and it's lifted high by Andy Finn. Just gets it into neutral ice. There's down the final 10 seconds of this man advantage. Saw holds it up, it takes an age, and then finds his man in the middle. It's come the rebound, it's a goal. Andy Finn slams his stick down on the ice because it was just a lucky bounce that led to it being in that position. Story of the Stars weekend, I'm afraid. The Stars did everything right, every player was tied up. The puck was moved to the right area. It's hit a skate. It's fell wide open in the slot. And it's fell right to a solid hole player. And Bostrom cuts it off. Ross Hanlon loses out. But straight back into position. Here's Maurice. Gets it to Watson, who turns, fires, goal. The Stars have fallen apart in the space of a minute. Yeah, the Stars are all looking around at each other. They're looking... I don't know whether they're looking to blame someone or they're just looking to say, look, you've got to step it up. So a third period comeback from the Solihull Barons gives them the win, six goals to five. And they take the points back to the Midlands. They'll be back here in two weeks' time for the final league encounter between the two teams.
man of the match for the Solihull Barons was Matthew Morris and for the Billingham Stars went to Andy Finn post game interviews with the two coaches Perry Doyle of Solihull and Billingham's director of coaching Terry Ward there on the Billingham Stars TV YouTube channel we'll be back next week with a visit of the Whitley Warriors but for now from Billingham Stars TV thanks for watching